Hey to all the viewers, welcome back to another episode of First Choice News, bringing you all the latest. Today's date is the 10th of August, and well, to all the viewers, from now on, I will not be talking about all the little news, seeing as though it's starting to get a bit boring now. From now, I will be taking my time to research and post videos on top government secrets and lead ops for events such as World War Three, the end of the world, and alien v invasions. Well, for this episode, I'm going to talk about some of the government's biggest secrets and what do they really mean. Well, most of us know that the governments hide secrets from us, and big ones. But what are they really? Well, this episode, I'm going to talk about just that. Well, people at... I'm sorry. Well, people at the moment, the governments are sitting on the biggest secret in the world, Nibiru. Every day, there is more and more proof. For example, at the start of the year, hundreds of thousands of animals just drop dead, randomly. Not just birds, but fish and elephants. Scientists tried to explain this as a diseases, but come on, seriously. Three different diseases all over different areas in the world at the same time. I mean, come on. Also, it has been spotted by the UK and Japan a few times. More proof is that everywhere there are more and more natural disasters and they are getting worse and worse and more unusual every year. The proof is everywhere. Recently, the moon has been reversed, a Trojan comet has been discovered, and even more strange, Jupiter is now growing larger by swallowing other planets. I and others such as scientists... Oh, sorry, I and others, such as scientist Michio Kaku, believe that this is all the cause of Nibiru. Well, recently Nibiru's coma was measured at 200,000 kilometers. It has also been reported that there are comets and or other objects inbound. It has not been confirmed, but I recently saw a few photos of and videos of Nibiru. But in the background are comets and other things. On the way to Earth, well, as it seems anyway. A lot of scientists and people believe that Nibiru is not the only thing out there. Well, perhaps they are right. Well, I'm going to research more on this topic and will keep you informed over the weeks. And next up, there has been a new theory going around that a lot of countries are going rang uh, bankrupt. Well, not really a theory, but for a specific reason. If you think, I'm pretty sure you can't lose that much in one day. The governments have been devoting a lot of money to the research of Nibiru and making sure that they are prepared. In the last year, the whole world has lost more than $400 trillion. I mean, seriously, how do you lose that much money in a time period that small? Well, something's going on, and I think that they know. Well, while we were on this topic last year, I created a group called Contagia. This group is for those who believe that the government is hiding something from us and that the world, as we know it, is ending. I have created a logo for this group and I will show it to you here. I am also thinking of getting this logo printed on shirts and selling them or giving them out to the people who believe in this. If you think this is a good idea, please comment. Okay, now for another government secret. Aliens. What are they and what are they here for? Well, guys, they're here to help and warn us. This was told by a woman who claimed to be a hybrid alien. Well, it may sound strange, but it, it, but it has been confirmed. She told us about what happened when she came to Earth. How she crashed, got taken in, and watched her colleagues get dissected, literally, in front of her. She then told us how she could not eat as she was in way too much agony, and they didn't know what to feed her. She then learned to speak and write in English. Also, apparently the greys still come and visit her in her room. She also told us that there is another kind of alien. These sorts, though, feed off a bad energy and vibes. She went on about how we need to stop war and any bad vibes and energy or they will take over. If we do stop, they will have no need to be at Earth. Well, I am not an eyewitness of her sayings, but by the way things are going, it wouldn't surprise me if she is right. 
any thoughts or if you have any proof on this, please send me the link. Okay, I'm afraid that's all for now. Thanks for listening to First Choice News, bringing you all the latest. I'll see you next episode. Have a great day.